Hi, and welcome to the SEO podcast, Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. My name is Chris Burris, owner of eWeb Results, and next to me is... Nolan Davis, owner of Vids Inc. Video Production. Welcome back to another fun-filled edition of our podcast. This is podcast number 330. Wow. Yeah. As always, we do have a tip from our previous podcast, and... Our tip from our previous podcast is... Tell a story to engage your readers. Absolutely. If you want to engage your readers, tell a story. Stories get past the sales filter, because there is one, and people remember stories better. That's how you engage your readers. Now, you do realize the other part of that... (laughs) Keep going. Oh, the other part of that is that the story is also the development of the brand. Yeah. Your your business story really helps your brand. Absolutely. And makes it memorable. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, so uh, please remember, and you may not know this part, please remember, we are broadcasting live here from Houston, Texas, and, well, I am your friendly local neighborhood top position snatcher, and my <laughs> mantra, and maybe Nolan soon, is don't be a douche. Oh. Do not be a yes. douche. It is not a good look. Yeah. No. I think Nolan can co-sign on that. Hey, the teaser for us today, hey, punch in the face to Andrew Follett. Come on, give Andrew a punch in the face. (laughs) Boom, boom. This is a great article. The title of the article is 18 Big Video Marketing Statistics and What They Mean for Your Business. What Um, he said. Yeah, we're we're going to get that. (laughs) Nolan's a video expert, Vids Inc. So we're going to discuss this article, uh, and we got a twist to the article. We do, we do. So we're going to bring that up here in just a second. Hey, if you are in a position to have some sort of electronic device that enables you to tweet, well, we want you to go onto Twitter and tweet hashtag SEO podcast, tag us, best SEO podcast and at eWeb results so we can connect with you, we can find you uh, and all of those good things. <clears throat> Get ready for a howdy. If, um, if this is the first time you've ever watched our podcast, howdy, when he said get ready for a howdy, I felt like I was going to walk in with spurs. Howdy, howdy. ma'am. There you go. Howdy. <laughs> if you've listened to this podcast before, you know what we're going to skip. Just real briefly, if we don't get 10 shikos, Nolan, you know what a shiko is? I do not. It is a share, like, or follow. So what is it? Share, like, or follow. Perfect. That's our shiko. Boom. If we get 10 shikos on any one of our platforms and we get a review, then we don't talk about how you can leave us a review. If we don't get 10 shikos and we don't get, and or we don't get a review, we teach you. We got 10 shikos and we got a review, so we're not going to go over that. What we will do, <laughs> and I'm going to need your help on this segment. Okay, what okay. we will do is tell you how you can shiko us, share, like, and follow us. There's a bunch of platforms. When I point to you, you just say eWeb results. Okay. Our platforms are uh, youtube.com slash eWeb results, instagram.com slash eWeb results, twitter.com slash eWeb results, and linkedin.com slash company slash eWeb results. <laughs> All of those will take you great. All of those will take you to our profiles, our online profiles. Go ahead and shiko us. And shiko is again share like. And follow. and follow. Excellent. Right. I just I just want to uh, give a shout out to Charles Lewis and Punch let him know that, that that we actually I may take your job because I'm really <laughs> falling in the groove in this. I don't know. I can say eWeb results all day. Go ahead and continue, <laughs> sir. Go ahead and continue. Hey, if you're a PHP genius or a WordPress guru, we're probably looking for you. Go ahead and submit your audio resume seven one three five one zero seven eight four six. We do have a free website analysis. Did you know that? I did know you that. You did know that. And the the easy way to get our free website analysis is to go to our website, ewebresults.com. Oh wait. Ewebresults.com. There and you go. that will take you to our site. You can't miss the green bucket. I feel very accomplished. You're today. Dude, you're, you're killing it. This is awesome. <laughs> Charles, Charles, watch out. It's time for the favorite segment of the program, the algorithm cataclysm. <sighs> Oh, that special effect! I was crazy. gonna say, did you see the effects? I was, I was kind of nervous. I was like, like falling I, over. I was like, this, this is a, this is very intense. Let's go, let's go. All right. So the algorithm cataclysm for today is local search inventory is slowly becoming available. This is in Google searches and in map listings. And the way that works is, say you pull up a Macy's or some store that's participating in the local inventory okay. ads. Uh, their inventory is up there. It could say, hey. It will show you, Google will show you their own uh, landing pages of what products are available 
at that Best Buy, at that Macy's, really? the local one, right there in Google. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we consider that an algorithm cataclysm. It's not really an SEO algorithm cataclysm. It is an algorithm cataclysm, though. So. Hey, we've got a little bit of news. You could be thinking if there's some sort of news you heard recently that you want to mention. Okay. I'll give you a minute. Um, this one, is a, so the Pokemon game, right? Oh my God. Have you heard that? I've and heard the dangers about it. associated with that? Yes. So here's the three dangers that I found broken ankles, actually, some other, like some people <laughs> fell in a ditch, <laughs> muggings. So, like, some muggers figured out that people will be showing up focused on their phone at a particular location, so they camped out at the location. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. To mug people. Uh, and then uh, the last one was bumping into a dead body in a field. <laughs> okay. So that's not really a danger, just a little bit traumatic. Um, I don't know. I like. I don't know if you say this wasn't well thought out or like what the deal is. I don't but know. It's just I, I, it sounded like just a good idea to somebody that was intoxicated somehow, and everybody right. ran right. with it. Well, and the other one might be a group of people who never leave the office. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea. We can send people out onto the road looking at their phones instead of where they're walking because I don't walk outside. And as they ran out, they were like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. We, we got out of the office. We did it. <laughs> now let's go back in. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's hot out here. So I thought that was cool. The next one is that Bose has some sweat proof headphones and they're making adjustments because they were having problems due to sweat. Sweat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's all that comes. That's no kind of typical. Did you think of any news while I was uh, briefly distracting you? Um, the only news that I was thinking of is Up Social Network. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's that's the only news that I can think of. He actually co-hosts with me on Up Social Network. We stream live on UpSocialLive.com. We have every Thursday morning from eight. Uh, a.m. to 10 a.m. And right now we're doing the third Tuesdays. Great information, great businesses in the Houston area, great time. Yeah, absolutely. And I do mention that at the end of the podcast. So do I'm, you I'm, But I'm glad you got it in right now because you're here. and we it, it was my news, so that's what it was. All right, so can you say five stars in a high-pitched voice with me? I cannot. I, I, or a deep voice. We'll do that okay. in a second. Right. So can, can I do the sexy? Hey, five stars. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do that. <laughs> All right, so we got a review from No Soy Braulio, and that review, of course, was five, five stars. stars. <laughs> and that review was uh, the title is Most Entertaining Digital Marketing Around. These guys comment on the best articles about digital marketing on the internet with a sense of humor and great expertise. Punch in the face to you guys. Hey, punch in the face to you, Braulio, who is. No, nah, no soy, not actually Braulio. I had a great conversation with him. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that was good. That is what we call the potatoes of our podcast. Okay. We are now about to get into the to meat. the meat. I the was going to say, who eats the potatoes first? Yeah. But I'm, I'm with you. I'm yeah. riding with well, you. Well, we like go. to get that out of the way. It gets a little tone. So, and it is the only complaint we get about our podcast. Like you guys droned on for like ten minutes about you guys and. I want can you do me a favor, though? Yeah. I know you have a lot of different things going on in the podcast. Yeah. Instead of saying potatoes, can you say potatoes? We'll say potatoes. We right. just finished the potatoes, and now it's time to get into the mott. I cannot wait to say potatoes at a restaurant. I like to have some smashed potatoes, please. <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. Let's go. All right. So, again, the article punch in the face to Mr. Andrew Follett. <laughs> Boom. Actually, I saw him already subscribe to our newsletter. Okay. I reached out to him, let him know that we were going to talk about his article. 18 big video marketing statistics and what they mean for your business. By the way, there is this article is top placed when you search for you know, video marketing statistics. Sure. We talk in our podcast about c content all the time, evergreen content, content that will be valuable for a long time. You might suggest as a video expert that content about the statistics of video utilization on the web probably are pretty dynamic and probably change pretty regularly. Right? Yes, yes. And if you were to see an article that was dated, I don't know, 2012 or something about video statistics, you would probably bounce off of that article? You know what? Well, I, I want to upgrade the article. Right. Because everything that's in there, the reason that they're number mm -hmm. one is because they it, it was so fluid. It, yes. gave, it gave every aspect of video marketing. Absolutely. So tip my hat to you for yeah. that part of it. But 
The other part of it is just that the statistics are always growing. Yes. Right? So you had so many people watching and watching more video. So these statistics is a great baseline, but whatever it is in here now from 2012, it's up here now for 2016. And we're going to add to that. We're going to give like a thumbs up. Is that like twice as high, 10 times as high? We're gonna sure. Make what we Absolutely. think it is, obviously. Uh, and punch in the face again to Andrew Follett, because one of the things that is good about this article is he doesn't have the date on it. Got right? you. Because Got I you. think if you were to pull this article up and see the date, you would just immediately go to the next one to try and find it. I would recommend that Andrew actually update the statistics and make a new version of this. Oh, sure. Um, but it is smart. We talk about things that you need to have in your articles. He's got great bullet points. He's got uh, a great title. Um, so there's a reason that it's in the first position. And so again, we tip our hat to you, punch in the face to you, all that good stuff. So, oh, I'm getting carried away. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't, don't, don't kill him <laughs> with love. All right. So the first thing he has here is there's 1.8 million words in a video, and I think this is a Dr. Million Quavi Forrester research. That what they're saying is that um, the value of a one-minute video is about 1.8 million words. And so, I mean, you can talk about how a quality video. Give us a little example about like your and we do lunch and learns together. So you talk about the difference between having a, um, a you know a video made with your phone Absolutely. and a video made with you know a 4k or m maybe you don't have to go that high but even in Absolutely. HD. Absolutely. You know what video is the only medium that could really evoke emotion, right? So when you I can make you cry at the end of the video, I can make you laugh at the end of the video. When he says 1.8 million words, it says if uh, uh, a picture is worth a thousand mm -hmm. words, how much is video worth? And he just actually said how much video is worth, 1.8 million words. So with, with that range of emotion, with the music, and, and really bringing all of your senses together, that's why it's worth 1.8 million words. Yeah. So I, I definitely agree with that 100%. Yeah, I, that, that's definitely true. Well, you know, I, I, I think it's actually 1.9 million words. I don't, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm still at 1.8 million. <laughs> What's the market for online videos? This is 45.4%. According to Comscore, this measures online engagements. And it says the average user is exposed to an average of 32.2 videos in a month. And he says that the 45.4 is the percentage of internet users who view at least one video online over the course of one month. So the internet user, we're going sure. to throw in phones because they weren't as big right. in 2012. Do you think that only 45.4%? Yeah, it's way up. It's, it's way up. 80. And it, it's, it's probably in the 80s. And yeah. the only reason I say that is when you add mobile and when people go to their apps and you can't even pass those videos, when you go into your app, just that alone all automatically brings it up. Yep. And everybody else is trying to really get that voice on their website. So now sometimes that's the first thing that opens right. up. So absolutely. Yeah, way up there. Next number is 100 million. This is the number of internet users who watch online video each day. That's way up. That I've, is way up. I, I've, I've even heard the statistic. I don't remember it off the top, but uh, it's it's way up. Yes. I mean, if if go, if Facebook has in the range of billions of users, they're exposed to video. At least ninety percent of them are exposed to video. Absolutely. So that number is way up. Ninety percent. The percentage of online shoppers at major retailers, their websites, who said they find video helpful. I don't think that number can go up much. There's right. always some percentage of people who aren't interested in video and don't want to watch it. Right. And I'm kind of prone to, depending on what the subject matter is, I just want to read an article. Because I can, I can skim, skim through. through. Yes. I can skim yes. through a thousand word article in seconds and I might have to watch uh, you know, a, a three minute video to get the same content. And or you can look for the bullet points. A yep. lot of times some of the just, you could just skim through and boom, you get all the fine points. And, and yeah, if, uh, and, and that's one of the values of this article. I mean, what I like about it is he just throws the number out there and then there's a description. So you're kind of employed to go in there and say, employed, excuse me, implored to go in there and say, okay, 90%, what is that for? So, right. yeah, I, I would agree with that. 75%, that's the percentage of executives who told Forbes that they watch work-related videos on business websites at least once a week. So business executives, really, really busy people, right? Um, they were speaking to, Vor uh, to Forbes and they're saying work-related videos at least once a week. I gotta think, um, I can say that I don't watch work-related video. I mean, 
It depends. But because of the industry I'm in, is it? It. I mean, of course I do. Right. 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 But I'm trying to think of like if you're in charge of cars and you're going to watch a car. And yeah, you, I mean, you do, but right. maybe it's your own marketing. Right. But not only just your own marketing. What about your competition? Right. Right. To see you want to see what? what right. Your, Absolutely. You yeah. you can be looking at your competition all the time. And the other part to it is like something that you do. If you're in marketing, in sales, or something. And you get a client that's in cars, you may go watch car videos to figure out what they're doing from a marketing standpoint to cater to those. So it depends. Yeah. I mean, yeah. industry depends. I would, I would be prone to say that the executives who aren't following the marketing of themselves or other people, they're not doing it to learn stuff. They're doing it to do research on the competition, right? Like, so I don't think it's an information gathering, like, right? Right. Oh, you know, um, but maybe, maybe it, I could be wrong. It says 50% watched business related on YouTube, 65 uh, from the manufacturer's website or from some website. So, okay. interesting. 16 minutes and 49 seconds. This is according to Comscore. That's the uh, how much time the average user spends watching online video ads, ads every month. So, uh, 16 minutes and 49 seconds ads. Just for ads, I wouldn't. I would say it may have went up, but I wouldn't say not, not by much. much, right? Because you're. It's still the three two, one, right. skip situation. Right. So right. yeah, I think that's it. This next section is what's the payoff for online marketing video? By the way, we're gonna summarize kind of reasons to do video and how these all tie in at the end of this. But eight big video marketing results numbers, 80% according to Online Publishers Association, that's the percentage of internet users who recall watching a video ad on a website they visited in the past 30 days. It gets even better. Of that 80%, 46% took some action after viewing the ad, right? So that's 80% remember seeing the ad, which is huge, right? right? And then 46% took action. More than half of those people. Yeah, I would say um, we may not, like that. those statistics may be spot on, but that's a reason you should be doing video. 80%, Absolutely. 80% remember it. 46% took action. And just remembering it is almost top of the mind marketing. Right. Think about why people run videos on TV, TV commercials over and over. It's not that you don't know who Coca-Cola is. It's just when you get thirsty, top of the mind marketing, if you remembered it, you want a Coke and I'm, a smile. I need a Coke, absolutely. All right, 64%. That's how much more likely website visitors are to buy a product on a store after watching a video, 64 That's about the same. I've seen, I've, I've, I just did some research, uh, I would say, end of last year, right. and it was at, in the 60s. In that's the 60s. about the same. Yeah, yeah. so that, what that's saying is they saw a visitor, they, um, let's see, what is it, what is it? That's their visitors buy a product online yes. after watching the video. So yep. that's, it's, videos, again, great way to convey emotion. Uh, and it's a great way to explain the nuances of your product and really to display the value that a product gives you. And when you say that, that sounds great, but it's really feature application and benefit. It shows the features of the product. It shows you how to apply it because it's in the video. Right. And then that releases all the benefits yeah. of that product. The big so, smiles. Are absolutely. Like that smile. All right, so this next segment, online video marketing is not just for retailers. 403%. This is an Australian real estate group reports that their listings with video re, with videos receive 403% more inquiries. Yes. Man, like that's a I know you've that's, got people chasing after you. I need I need uh, real estate videos. That's because, almost just walking through, right? Yeah. That's giving you a walk through right, right then and Without there. Without having to walk through. Absolutely. I mean, there's probably more people doing, you know, sight unseen purchases uh, because of video, right? In the past, it was not an option. You had to go maybe with video, you might pull that trigger. But when it comes to real estate, you trust video a little bit more because the people who are taking pictures, I've actually looked at oh, houses, yeah, yeah. and the the kitchen looks huge, right? right? And, and when I and get there, it's like, is this it? Yeah. Like they they photoshopped the yeah, out of it, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And a good photographer can can do a lot of amazing things. Absolutely. Next is fifty nine percent. This is according to Forbes Insight. It's the percentage of senior executives who'd rather watch a video than read text. Fifty nine percent 
I'm going to say that's probably the same, yep, right? I would, I would and, and I'm I'm the person who would rather read text than videos. But it depends on context. You know, maybe it's a, a lunch break and I just want to sit back and I don't want to read and I want a video to talk to me, or the opposite. I just need to get through some information quick. So um, so yeah, that's probably about the same. Next section, and it's not just online. Ninety six percent in 2010. So this is some old statistics. Uh, an email marketing survey found that including a video in an introductory email increased the click-through rate by 96%. Yeah. That number may be down because you're say. getting a lot more vid uh, emails with video. Absolutely. But think of how many emails you get that still don't have videos. Right, right. It's a, it's a huge number. So when you get that email with the video, it's like, oh, a video in my right, email. It's right. still a pretty, so I would say that's probably gone down from 96% to 94. Like I would just, think it went down more than way that. Way more than that? You think people are desensitized yes, to having videos? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and maybe it's kind of a compilation if, you, if your number's right because I'm seeing so many videos anyway, so the exactly. joy of seeing a video on the web in general is down. So I, I now, now it's almost like you're trying to sell me. If, you, if yeah. you're sending me a video, right, right and it's not, uh, it's yeah. not, now it's like you're trying to sell, it's almost like junk mail. When you right. first start getting mail and it's big and it's beautiful, it's like, let me open this up, and now it's like, it's just all junk mail. It's all junk right? So, but but not taken away from it, I think it's probably in the 80s. I just wouldn't say it's in the 90s. Okay. Um, one thing to add, there are some industries, real estate being one, where you're building these one-on-one -on -one connections. I would highly recommend right. the Right, absolutely, videos. absolutely. And that doesn't even need Vids Inc. That's like, hey, it was great to meet you the other day. I got a realtor in one of my networking groups. I would, like, I, I know I'm shaking it. my head yes, but I would have to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I, I did right, this for you. you I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to be negative. So everybody's watching is like, he's agreeing, but I'm saying I do not agree. <laughs> I do not agree. You need to use me anyway. <laughs> absolutely. All right, 200%. That's the Forest Marketing Group surveyed businesses in 2010, again, and found that the videos did even better when marketers included a marketing or explainer video in the email, right? So I think it, that, uh, that when you've got, oh, that clicked, increased the click-through rate by 200 to 300%. So having a video explainer video in your right. email, 200 to 300, we would say it's a little bit lower, um, although that is a gargantuan range, 200 to 300%. Right, that's two or three times. Right. You know, maybe it's one and a half to two and a half times or something now. Yeah. But again, video, very valuable. 75%. Uh, Do your email subscribers drop like, drop like flies? El Eloquia, an automated email marketing provider, noted that including video in the initial email uh, decreased the number of subscriber opt outs by 75%. I think that number will probably be higher. Yeah. Because that's something that people wanted to attach themselves to. Right. And that relationship is built through video. Right. right. So now it's a stronger bond from that standpoint. Right. If I went out, it's different than earlier. Like I just got a video in my email. Cool. Yeah. I don't know what it is or who it's from or let me check it out. Right. As opposed to somebody signed up for my business. Right. So, yeah. Cool. And I see somebody made a comment when you get a chance. Maybe you can read that okay uh, let's see 51% this is on did I just do that one no no this is one online marketer reported a 51% increase in subscriber to lead conversion rates when video was included in an email marketing campaign and I'm assuming conversion rate in this case is like maybe well it would be conversion of whatever they want maybe Absolutely. they want to get into another drip campaign so it could be like another email product or an ebook so it could be a free thing sure. or it could actually be product so 51% um, next section is how to make video marketing more effective. Uh, 10 seconds. That's how long you have to grab the attention of viewers in a video marketing clip. Uh, it says 20% it says of viewers will click away from a video in 10 seconds or fewer. And it doesn't get a lot better after that. You lose a third by 30 seconds, 45% of them by one minute, and then 60% by two minutes. Thoughts? So I have mixed feelings about right. that, right? So my, my mixed feelings on this is it depends. So I, I love Jaguars. I don't have $80,000 right now right. for Jaguar. Right. 
I'm working on it. That's he is, why he's accepting should, you should call me. Ex absolutely. Yeah. That's why you should call me for all your videos. But with that being <laughs> said, I'll watch a 30 second, one minute video on a Jaguar. But if I'm buying a Jaguar, right. I'll watch a 20 minute video yeah. to know everything yeah. about it. So it's kind of like the old Arabic saying, a piece of bread looks different depending on if you're hungry or not. Right, right, if right. you're not hungry and don't yeah. want it, that's, so it just depends in my, in my eyesight. I think, and I also think the 10 seconds has gone down a little bit, right? Isn't there some statistics that you've got 10 seconds to get attention? Is, is, are we, are we um, acclimated to the three, two, one? So it's more like five seconds to get their attention or what, what are your thoughts on that? I, I would say it's, it's depending on, cause there is no captivated audience now, right? right? When, when these statistics were out there, it's more of a captivated audience of, you know, he, new here, video, but, yeah. exactly. Here, here's something brand new. Now we're in the Google, Google age, the right, SEO. Right. People are, are pulling up what they're looking for. So when you look at it from that standpoint, I still would give it about 10 seconds. Do you still, think yeah. it's still 10 seconds? Yeah, I, I still would say it's 10 All seconds. All right, very cool. All right, next is, and what, is, what does she have Here, to let say? me see what I got. Yeah. It says, you guys have taught me so many new things. Uh, I'm current in understanding everything you're saying while laughing. Thanks so much. And while she's laughing, I just want you to realize that you're laughing more at my jokes than his. <laughs> right? I just, I'm looking at you. I'm more Are for you, me. You're going to bring up the goofball <laughs> competition, right? We've been doing air. We, you know, I used to talk about um, uh, the bad boys of biz. Uh, this is the bad, the other bad boy of biz. <laughs> and when we initially kind of got together, he was like, "Yeah, I'm a goofball." And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty goofy myself. Right. And, he's, uh, he's only goofy with his acquaintances and friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm goofy with everybody. Yeah, so with I was. Everyone. He yes. wins. He yes. wins. All right. Absolutely, hands down. Punch in the face to you, Jennifer. I was just going to yeah. say thank you, Jennifer Johnson, for that. All right. Five minutes. The good news, though, while desktop viewers tend to stick with video for two minutes or less, mobile users have even a longer attention span. iPhone users tend to watch 2.4 minutes. Uh, and then it says that uh, if you get them engaged with a Symbian, wow, that's old, uh, four minutes. And then iPad, five minutes. So it's saying that desktop, two minutes, iPhone, 2.4 minutes, and then on iPad, five minutes. Right. In terms of engagement before they click off. So it, it, it just depends on where you are, right? Yeah. So it's, it's just, if you're at home, you're comfortable, you could be on the couch. If you're sitting at the desk, you probably want to get up and get out of there. So you just watch a two minute video. So this is interesting. This would, is. this should guide you when you're kind of working on the production of the video, right? If you believe your target's going to be desktop, let's keep it under two minutes. If you really think that your market that you're going to be uh, targeting is, is actually going to be only watching the video after they get home from work and, um, or this can guide which video you send in an email at what time. Absolutely. Right? Because if Absolutely. you're sending the email in the morning, they're probably going to watch it on a workstation and or on, on an iPhone. See, I never even thought about that. Right? That's great. That's great information. And then if you look at, I think that it's going to happen after they get home from work, they may be sitting at the couch, watching yes. the TV, you got the email. Um, so now's the time to send them that five minute video. Very interesting. But on the flip side of that, our phones are bigger, better, yeah. and better, it's right? That, that viewing time probably has gone up. Right, because yeah. most people are doing everything from their phones now. How often do you really sit at a desktop if you're not at work, Right. right? Most people are all mobile, yeah. especially with the Surface out now and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You're going to bring up my broken surface, aren't you? Oh, I didn't want to bring up the bad blood. So. All right. 16%. That's the percentage of YouTube videos that are embedded, linked, or shared on Tuesday between 11 and 1 p.m. Now, I have absolutely no idea about, about that. that. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. absolutely yeah. no if, idea. If, if they had said Wednesday between 3 and 5, he, no, he, he I know all about Wednesday. Comment on I that. know all about Wednesday. Tuesday between 11 and 1, he never really looked at that specific time frame. I got frame. nothing. And it doesn't say which time zone, right? Right. That's, I mean, <laughs> right. Well, is that overseas? Maybe, it doesn't, is that, maybe that doesn't matter. Um, I'm assuming that they brought up Tuesday 11 and 1 because that was the highest percentage of time when the embeds were shared, right? Okay. I'm assuming they, that they brought that. Um, if that were true, you know, a while back, it may be similarly true now because, you know, lifestyles may or may not have changed. 
Um, but that's interesting. So what, what it does say is know that there are times when people are more likely to share our videos, do more research, get updated data, and use that in your email marketing campaigns that include video. video. 15 seconds. According to research conducted by June Group, videos that are 15 seconds or shorter are shared 37% more often than those that last between 30 seconds and one minute. If you make your video longer than that, uh, uh, the stat goes down, so it doesn't make the right direction. So what do you think? 15 seconds are shared 37% longer than if it's more than a minute, between 30 and a minute? I'm curious because Instagram uh, Went started, from 15 to 30, right? Right, yeah. right. So yeah. I'm curious about that. And they were really the king of 15 second videos. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out if back then is that when they started the 15 second video. Maybe they used that statistic to decide right. to do a 15 second right. video. Back Absolutely. Then. Interesting. Well, that does bring us away. So, so I just want to talk real briefly because you are a video, video expert. Okay. Uh, I want to talk real briefly about you know what you see the value of videos, where you think they're the most valuable, really in an online or internet marketing perspective, and and things that people might expect as they're adding video to to a website or email campaign or or, or whatever it may be well we can piggyback off of each yeah, other so yeah, sure. so one is YouTube so everybody who knows this uh, Google owns YouTube because yeah. if if he's done 330 of them if you don't know that by now yeah then he failed then with that I don't know howdy because this may be your first right <laughs> Absolutely. right so because of that a lot of people don't realize that on the back of YouTube there's a transcribing unit yeah so some of the things that you actually say helps your SEO so absolutely so when people just put up the little nice pictures and the music with the violin and they're, they're trying to be so upscale and nobody's saying anything sometimes that's a problem that's yeah. your I mean, you can't really get found yeah. from, from that situation. So you definitely want to use YouTube, but there's other places like YouTube, other hosting sites, and that widens your footprint on the internet Absolutely. as well. So when you look at Daily Motion, when you look at Vimeo, when you look at Vidler, when you look at taking that same video and putting those same descriptions and keywords in there and uploading it to all the hosting sites, that definitely helps you as well. Absolutely, very cool. Um, so, did you have you done uh, many or some videos for email? Because I know a lot of people will probably take that on themselves, and you're you've done a lot of commercial stuff. Any anything with relation to email? I have, and and so I have, I have. Um, I don't do a lot of those, but here's the thing: I like to put the email uh, a video in proposals. If you go to a proposable.com, yeah, yeah. right? Proposable. Proposalable.com, okay. right? They have a a it's not mechanism opposable, like opposable thumb. It's proposal. So they they have a no. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they have uh, a mechanism to where you can put videos in there and I think it's great when you can put that interaction yeah. to do one of these videos with your phone, put it in there and say, "Hey Chris, Man, love meeting with you the right, other day. Right. In this proposal is the dot, the dot, the yeah. dot. If you have any questions, I think that's a great way to just continue to build that relationship and stand out from everybody else who's doing that. We, we do a, something similar. We use a, a service called iJot. Okay. And you actually got that I jot. I made his entertaining rather than professional. <laughs> when, oh when yes, started, yes. <laughs> so when we get a new customer, we send a video and we got a nice little script that says, you know, introduce myself and and it's so excited that we're going to be working together and uh, and I actually give my cell phone. So it's a, it's kind of like a personal connection with that that person. Um, apparently, he was a little surprised by the uh, the quality. Right. Uh, it it, it was great quality. It was great all of that. But I'm. I'm the the level the audio was great like I could hear him smacking and and swallowing because he was eating when eating. he got yeah. he was eating lunch so he was like hey Nolan it's me oh that's juicy right <laughs> that was my favorite part he was like oh that was juicy right? <laughs> like it was just bursting with flavor in his mouth and I was and I was watching it and I was like is he thinking he's recording the real thing is this a practice I was lost for I don't know how long but he was he did that on purpose so I was punked I guess yeah. and then from I job I, I was punked. that's just that's just how our interactions go but Who knows? but I'm telling you YouTube and the hosting sites if you want to really put some extra pizzazz on it you definitely want to go to like proposable.com 
uh, and put those, embed those into the proposal. Um, and then for, for people that are just thinking about online, take it offline and right. use those same videos and, and put them in trade shows yes. and expos, right? Because we're trained as people to watch TV. So you can have all the little, uh, what they call promotional products on the table and all the giveaways, but that TV engages. And if you've been to a, a, a trade show or expo any time lately, within the past 18 months to right. 24 months, right. Dude, everybody has a TV. A video, and a video uh, plan. Yep, yeah. I, absolutely, and a video plan. So uh, yeah. those will be just three tips I right now. I love the example you gave in the Lunch and Learn of somebody like looking at pens and then at one booth and then watching the video at the other booth. Like, absolutely. Oh, yeah, this is a nice pen, and thank you. Right, right. I'm right. watching that. And right. You know. and But here's the other part, is that if you're the person in the video, um, you almost yeah. have to bring yeah. a pen to give autographs. Yeah. So when people are watching it, and then they look at you, they, that's you. You're on the video. Absolutely. I, I, I am. I am kind of a big deal. Yeah. I don't I don't like to brag, but I am kind of a big deal. But I am on that video <laughs> screen right exactly. at my booth. This is a TV, so I am on TV <laughs> is what that is. So I have to say it. All right. So any any last little tips and you want to give a little bit of information about how people can reach, reach out to you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you can go to vidsinc.com. Uh, that's V as in Victor, I-D-S instead of pics and pictures is vids and videos, Inc. as they incorporated, I-N-C dot com. If you like this right. combination, yeah. the magic happens. I know I'm no Charles Lewis, which has happened to be one of my favorite Lewises of all time, yes. right? Yes. But I'm no Charles Lewis. But if you like this on... Thursdays, eight, in the morning. And I'm telling yeah. you, from eight to ten, we have other people that we're interviewing on UpSocialLive.com, and check us out there. That's uh, about it for me. Absolutely excellent. All right, so um, that does uh, kind of wrap up our meet. So if you're looking to grow your business with the largest, simplest marketing tool on the planet, what do you think that is? Uh, E-Web results. The internet. Oh, the no. Internet. Wait, you told me when it, yeah. the E-Web results. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you pointed at me. I said what I'm oh, supposed to say. Right. That's, I, that was my cue. Call. E-Web results. <laughs> for increased revenue. I almost revenue said the internet business. just to, get, to piss you off. <laughs> Call the internet. I don't know. You'll be on hold forever. Ever. Is what that is. Go ahead. Uh, so call us for increased revenue in your business. Our phone number is 713-592-6724. If, four. if you do have a referral, that's somebody who's interested in some aspect of internet marketing, and that could be web design, SEO, PPC, social media, any one of those. In fact, video, I know who to put you in touch with. Uh, go ahead and send us that person. If they sign up with us when they pay their bill, we will pay you. We have a nice referral program in place. Um, just like Nolan said, we are doing networking here in Houston. If you're in Houston, join us. If not, join us online. Uh, you can find us at Up Social Network. We broadcast from UpSocialLive.com, and, uh, and the network and details yes. about it are at UpSocialNetwork.com. We were filmed live here at 5999 West 34th Street, Suite 106, Houston, Texas, 77092. Um, is that what we are right now? We, that's where we are. Yeah, oh, that's, that's that, the, we're here right now. That's the address I sent to you. Um, if, uh, man, I got, I, and it wasn't you. I was distracted before I even got there. Oh, what I was going to say is the video, the audio, and a transcript of this podcast can be found at our website. Eweb results. Dot com. <laughs> you said that with such conviction. I know. It was e web results. Hey, you guys have made us the most popular internet marketing podcast on iTunes. We salute you. Thank you. I don't know if I told you the stat. We've now officially been uh, downloaded in more than 100 countries because it's actually 101 countries. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, so that is because of you. Thank all of you all for tuning in. Uh, this is one of the first of interviews that we want to be doing on a regular basis. Uh, so we're excited about that, kind of wrapping out 2016. Until the next podcast, my name is Chris Burris. I'm Nolan Davis. Bye-bye for now.